Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy birthday to you, Virgo. If your birthday is today, September the 4th. <clears throat> Excuse me. Happy birthday to you. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. I feel like singing, which I don't sing, that song from Singing in the Rain. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to stay up late. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, Virgos. Maybe you stayed up too late last night partying. Hmm. Okay, or maybe you're going to stay up too late tonight, partying and having a good time. Okay, happy birthday to you, Virgo. Thank you for watching. I hope it resonates with you. Okay, let's see. Oh, we got the Ace of Pentacles. You know, this is a financial reward for you. Finally understanding your goals and your life purpose. Like, wow, I'm finally, I'm finally happy financially. I'm busting at the seams. I'm so happy. I'm so joyous. We got the three of cups. This is partying. You know, this is going out. Maybe you spend some big chunk, a big chunk of change on a birthday celebration for yourself, Virgo. And if that's something that you want to do, hell, you deserve it. The celebration, having fun with family and friends, laughing. Maybe you like to like a stand up comedy, like to go to a stand up comedy show. Maybe you like to be. Maybe you are a comedian. All right. We have the judgment card. Okay, what message of spirit do you have for these beautiful Virgos whose birthday is today? Uh, maybe there's some some choices that you need to make, um, possibly with the people around you. You know, maybe you're choosing to do something different. Maybe you don't want to be tied up with people or, or uh, be tied up with certain people, uh, the people you're hanging around. What message is here? We have a Virgo. We got the Eight of Cups. There it says you definitely leaving people, uh, leaving people behind. You know, not really wanting to be. Um, I don't know how to say it. You know, you know who you want to be around, Virgo. You know who you want to leave alone, and uh, it's time for you to make a decision. You know, you're not getting any younger. You're getting older, and you're still seeing that people still doing the same stuff. We got the five of swords. You know, this is a judgment call for you. You know, what what are you listening to? What is spirit spirit telling you? It's like to make to make better judgments with I'm sorry, make better judgment with the company you keep. It's one person in your group. I don't know if they they're a friend or a family member who you really shouldn't be trusting, especially around your significant other. So you've be, you've asked yourself, can I really trust this person? Because this person, you know, they if they hurt other people, I, I, I can I can just imagine what they can do to me. You know, it's like keep your enemies close to Virgo because there's somebody in your friendship circle who really not too good, not too good of a person. You know, they will hurt you. They will stab you in your back. Talk about you, you know. And it's like, but you it's like, you know, this because they've you've seen them do it to other people. But hell, they'll do it to you, too. OK. We got the King of Swords and <clears throat> the Ten of Pentacles. So you really are you have you questioned yourself whether or not you should have this person in your life? Uh, do you want to keep hanging around this person? It's just something about this person's energy that that is is trying to explain to you. You know what should I do about this person? Because this person with this, this vibe of this King of of Swords is not, you know. I just don't feel comfortable around this person. It's like you watch this person, you watch what they do. They're kind of controlling, you know, and I'm like, I don't know, you know, if they do it to them, will they do it to me? Yes. This is a party situation. Like I said, we got the four of ones. We got the judgment card. It's like they don't like the people you hang around or the people don't like them, you know, because of because of who they are and you've moved on to making more money and you know better income and living a good lifestyle a luxurious lifestyle or at least that's where you're headed but one of these people will stab you in the back in a minute Virgo. okay first day reading for Virgo, september the 4th 2022 presence of absence hold what is absent in the presence of your love so if you're missing somebody, particularly today for your birthday, this could be your mother or father, they're still with you. They're just with you in spirit. And you're missing somebody very much, very dear to you. Uh, maybe they gave you a very special birthday gift every year or 
uh, you all had some sort of tradition. Maybe they baked you a cake or a peach cobbler, or I've heard something about blueberry something. Maybe they did something to you that was very special, and you missed that so much. You missed them so much. You missed that tradition so much. But they're still with you. Okay? Hold on to what is absent in the presence of your love. You still love them, and they still love you. Trusting tricksters, Virgo. The trickster's only power is your trust. You are always free to withdraw from it. I told you. That may be, you know, you may have fun with that person or, or whatever, but, you know, they're playing games. They're full of shit. You know what they say, bird up, birds of a feather flock together. Not really in this case for you because you already know this person is full of shit. And you're full of shit. They're full of shit. You know, they're going to be full of shit with you, too, because you probably think, well, this is, they're never going to do this to me. They're never going to do that to me. They probably already have. All right. Consciousness is light. You already know that you should let this person get, get out of this person's energy field. OK. And keep them out of yours. Birthday reading for Virgo, September the 4th, 2022. And we have moving forward. The first step is taken within our stillness. We got the eight of cups. So, you know, what is your is your energy telling you to walk away? To do what needs to be done? Because the only way you're going to get this person out of your energy field is by walking away from him or her. Move forward. Because you trust this person too much, possibly with your information. You talk to this person about secrets. Just because you tell this person something this doesn't mean they're going to hold that shit in. They're not. They're going to tell it. Okay. They're going to tell it. Creative power. Release your alchemical energy into the world. It's time for you to move forward and do your thing, Virgo. You're birthing new ideas. You're very, very creative. You're full of you're full of all of this creative energy. Let the world see your gift. Let the world see what you're here for, what you're here to do. Okay. Maybe some of you all want to be a GYN or work in, let's see if I get this name right. Work in obstetrics. That's what I'm hearing. Maybe being a um what do you call that? Mm. A doula. Maybe being a doula. Maybe that's what you already do. Or you know somebody who's in that profession. Catching babies, as they say. Okay. Um, birthing in water. Something about the birthing process, which is totally amazing, by the way. And also something about um, x-rays of the baby. What do you call them? You know, when they sonogram. We have false beliefs. Once the universe, once the untruths that we believe about ourselves are illuminated, so are the ways we can release the, the false limitations they confine us to. So, you know, people have told you some things and tried to make you believe some things or a false belief. So you believe them. Now it's time to move forward in your life and say, you know what? I'm not that. I'm not that. I'm not what that person said I was. You know, I'm going to be successful. I'm beautiful. I'm handsome. I'm gorgeous. I'm amazing. I am fearless. I'm not going to let what these people said to me continue to hold me back. I'm better than that. You are better than that, Virgo. But you got to drop, drop the trickster. Final message for your Virgo if your birthday is September the 4th, 2022. And two wants to come out. So we're going to pull accountability. <clears throat> Responsibility is a gift of love that you're a gift of love for yourself and others. So it's your responsibility to to move on, to find a higher ground because you're already much much more illuminated in in spirit and with spirit than that other person is. That's per that person is still fighting some demons. It's time for you to move on. And we got home. May your body be where a harmonious balance of love, strength, light, and pleasure lives, and that should be at home. Sometimes that's not that's not always the case, especially how you grew up. Home should be where you find peace at, at if nowhere else. If you're not finding peace at your home, it's time to move on. All right. I hope this message resonates with you, Virgo. Happy birthday again. If your birthday is today, September 4th, 2022. Talk to you later.